Hi guys and welcome to yet another video tutorial of Adobe Illustrator CC. Today we will learn how to make this wallet and money illustration design in Illustrator. I want to say something in the start of this video, I will be making this illustration a little differently. I will not be making this illustration like in my previous videos, in which I first of all make the base structure, and then apply the colors and in the end I work of the details, but instead in this video, I will completely make one part of the illustration, and then move on to the next part, and in the end I will put them all together, and at their proper places. I hope you guys like this new method that I am about to, please give me your honest feedback, whether this new method is better than the older one, and also do subscribe to the channel also. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all I will make the background, select the rectangle tool, and make a shape of the size of your artboard, my work area is 1280 by 720, so I will make the background shape also of the same size. Change the color of the background and align to the work area. Now select pen tool and draw a line from left to right. This will be our surface line, on which everything will be placed. Change the stroke size of the surface line. Also change its stroke color from black to dark brown. And turn off the fill color. Now we will make the wallet illustration first, select the rectangle tool, and a draw a shape that resembles somewhat a wallet. Give it its proper color that you saw in the final version of it, and select the direct selection tool and curve the corners of it, according to your taste and preference. Now select the wallet shape and go to the object, and then come down to path, and select the offset path. Offset the path by about negative 15 points. It will make a small shape inside your wallet shape. Turn off the fill color for the smaller inner shape and go to stroke properties. Now turn on the dashed line option. I think 12 points looks good, but you can play with it to see what you like better. Now select the wallet shape and hold the alt key and drag to one side to make a duplicate copy of it. Now make a second duplicate copy of it at an angle. Now select the Shape Builder tool and hold the Alt key and click once in the middle of your shapes, it will cut them where they overlap each other. Apply the highlight color on these shapes with the eyedropper tool and place the shapes on top of your wallet shape. Give the lower shape a shadow color. Let's extend the size of the shade by dragging one of its anchor points. Now make some small circles close to the shade color and merge them with it by the Shape Builder tool. This sort of thing creates a little bit more interest in your details than simple straight shapes. Now select the rectangle tool once again, and make the small shape on the wallet, and curve the corners, and give it highlight color. Make two long rectangle shapes, and that extend the height of your shape. Make one thinner than the other one. Rotate them a little, and then cut them with the Shape Builder tool. Apply the highlight color to these shapes also. Merge these long shapes with the highlight of the upper edge by the Join command in the Pathfinder panel. Now I will make some line highlights on the wallet. This is the sort of details that I usually like to add on my illustrations. Once the wallet is complete, move it to the side of your work area. 
Now we will make the currency notes. Select the rectangle tool and make rectangle shape with it. Curve the corners of it. Make a smaller shape inside it by offsetting the path of it. Select the ellipse tool and make small little circles on the four corner of the inner rectangle shape. Now cut the small circle from the rectangle with the help of shape builder tool. Now make a circle shape. Select the type tool and write the letter S with it. We will turn this into a dollar sign. I will now change the font type to Gotham Bold. Convert the text to outlines. Make a strip shape and place in the middle of the S shape, and then merge the two shapes together. Place the dollar sign inside the circle and cut it from the circle. Apply the green color to it. Rotate the dollar sign and place inside the note, and adjust the size, and make two make two more smaller circle, and top and bottom. Now make the highlight of the note just like we made it for the wallet shape. Now select all the shapes and group them together. Make multiple copies of the note and place them one before the other. And vary their rotation a little. Now move the currency notes to a side, so we can make our next illustration shape. Now I will make the gold coins of the illustration. I have just borrowed the dollar sign currency note to use in my coins. Select the ellipse tool and make a circle with it. Give it color. Make a smaller circle inside the larger one and give it the lighter yellow color. Now place the dollar sign inside the coin. Now let's make the highlights of the coin, just like we did it for other shapes. Use the Shape Builder tool to subtract one from the other. Make the highlights for the inside circle also. Now let's zoom in a little to work on the finer details. Make two long strip rectangle shapes, one thinner than the other. Rotate them a little, cut them, and apply the highlight color. Change the color of the dollar sign to dark brown. Let's zoom out again. Group, group the shapes of the coin together. Now let's make the other coin design that is laying flat. It's the same routine, curve corners, apply color, make shadow and highlight strips, and place them all together. As you can see such a small part of the illustration requires so much work, and you guys still don't appreciate the process, by subscribing to the channel. Now once all the shapes are ready, now comes the easy part, but not so easy anyway. That is to place and arrange everything for your final illustration.
First of all let's drag back the wallet and adjust its position and size. After that let's bring back our currency notes and also adjust their position and size. Now let's set the coins into place, make many copies of the coins by holding the alt key and dragging and arranging them at their appropriate places. Make as many coins and stuff that you like, you don't have to follow my illustration exactly, you can vary it as you desire. Let's bring the whole illustration a little down and place two coins on top of the wallet in the air. With the help of the pen tool let's make few motion lines on top of the coins to give the illusion that they are falling. Change the size of the stroke and also a type. Let's put one coin on the surface of the flower and rotate it 90 degrees. And make motion path line with the pen tool so that it appears to have fallen and bounced a few times. Turn off the fill color for the motion path. Change the stroke size and curve its edges also. And that's pretty much does it for our illustration. I might tweak it a little later on. The amount of detail really depend on your taste and requirement. You might put more or less. It really depend on you and what you like. Okay, that's it. It's completed. I hope you guys like this video and learned a thing or two about how to make cool looking illustrations in Illustrator. And my explanation style was clear also. But if you still have any questions, you can ask about it in the comment section. And I will get back to you on that because I always reply to all my comments, albeit sometimes a little late. Okay, that's it for now. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and take care.